this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's a lovely world. Good morning, Polly Reindeer. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Fizzy Elephant. Are you trying to fly? You try. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, Fizzy. And there go all of the fireworks that are needed for this mini game. <laughs> <laughs> up in, up into the air. Oh well, busy's having fun. Right then, let's go inside and let's go and have my breakfast. Nom 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 nom. Very tasty. Um, fizzy, your dog, your dog is next to my bed. Where is he? I'm like, oh, you did that very quick. Where did all your cl Oh no, I can I can guess what happened. I can guess what happened. <laughs> I can see what happened. Uh, yeah, your dog's next to my bed. If you uh, if you want to, to retrieve them, I will go and retrieve my dog Barnaby, who's upstairs here. Good morning, Barnaby. And uh, yeah, he will be delivered to his doggy pals at the doghouse in just a moment. But first, uh, I want to go and add someone to my love garden, and I'm adding someone to my love garden today for a reason. I have never added someone to my love garden ever before. I don't know why I made that sound so dramatic, but uh, yeah, it is very interesting. So uh, I'm adding Sausage Wizard, and that is because they made a theory video about my Cat to the Future time travel episode, and they go really in depth about kind of the multiple timelines and the different versions of Stampy, and I gotta be honest, I'm probably not smart enough to fully understand everything that he was saying, but it was really fascinating and interesting to, to hear, and it's just funny hearing someone go in depth about one of my silly Minecraft videos. So thank you so much for spending the time doing that, Sausage Wizard. I really enjoyed listening to it, and welcome! to my love garden. Uh, right then, let's go to the dog house and we'll choose which dog is going to be joining us. And then we will be riding the tree train back to the fun land and hopefully completing building the sequel to Flower Power, um, very creatively named Flower Power 2. <laughs> uh, right, uh, oh, I guess if you sit down there, then hopefully you won't set off any of the uh, the the things. And then let's have Benton. You can join us for today's episode. So uh, yeah, as I said, we'll ride the the tree train right over to to where we were. We to be honest, we did like we went above and beyond in the uh, the last episode. And we managed to get pretty much all of like the the structure done. So all of like the the platforms, all of like the the bits that you're going to be bouncing over when you uh, when you play the, the game. Uh, we basically got all of that done in the the last episode. Uh, so now we just need to do all of like the the mechanics. So the thing that's going to start off the game, the thing that's going to allow you to like upgrade your gear during the game, uh, a few other little secret mechanics I'm going to show you soon, uh, and basically like the way that the game is going to end. Basically something that's going to turn this into a bunch of platforms that are fun to jump around on into a fully functioning mini game in the the way that we uh that we like it but once again let me just remind you nothing too complicated like i i warn you when i'm going in depth with redstone but i've not done that for a very long time absolutely everything i do here even if you don't know anything about redstone if you just copied it exactly like it would just work it's all very 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 simple because um yeah i like i like to keep things simple and i'm not that good at redstone so um i don't really have the option of going too complicated. And are we all good? I was scared I was going to knock Fizzy back then, but I think we're okay. And hopefully Benton was able to teleport behind me. Oh no. Oh no, has he been left on the, the track? So, you know what I bet's happened? I reckon he's got caught up in someone else's minecart and might be bouncing it around. Well, hopefully he'll have a good day wherever he is and maybe he'll end up teleporting beside us at some point during the, the episode. Uh, right then, this is the game in the state that we left it in the last episode. So we've got the two uh, flower pots on either end. Remember, the aim of the game is to get both flowers. So you get a flower from the other team, and then you will place that in a flower pot at the top up there, and then that will launch another flower, which is what we're going to be set up today, out the top of there, and then you've got to put that in the middle flower pot uh, in order to, to win. Also, if you are doing this game yourself, it might be cool to do this flower pot as like a, um, as like a golden flower pot. I think would look really cool. Like I did think about doing that, but I just don't really have enough gold. But if you do, or you're doing it in just like fully and creative, uh, maybe do this as like a gold flower pot. But I did 
if I jump up here, add some glowstone on the top just to make it feel a little bit more special. Anyway, uh, let's start off by doing one of the, the special mechanics that I have been alluding to. Uh, so right, let me make, actually I don't need a crafting table. I just need to make some spruce platforms and some birch platforms. And basically I'm gonna be making a jump pad. And uh, these are pretty simple, but I think pretty fun. So basically if I place down some pressure plates along here like this, this basically means that from whatever direction you um, approach this from, you will be able to get launched up into the air. So if I go and add the birch one down here and two spruce ones, oh, missed the last one, uh, place that down here. So the idea is, is wherever you run from, you'd run and then you'd get launched up into the, the air. So it's gonna be very simple. Uh, basically, we're just gonna place, oh, does this line up nicely? Oh no, it doesn't. Right, I'll go down and break that one away in a second. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a um, sticky piston there and then a row of slime along here like this and then you'd run and then that would all launch up. Obviously, it's not launching up yet, but that's because we have not done the redstone underneath. So, once again, very, very simple. Let me just place some blocks underneath to show you how it will be. Uh, so, it would actually oh, it would need to be along there like that. And so, there'll be just a trail of normal redstone going along these, uh, which will be activated if someone steps on the, the pressure plate. And then leading to it, there's going to be a repeater. And it needs to be a repeater, and that's because we need to add a delay, because otherwise as soon as you step in it, it would launch straight away. Oh, yeah. Polly's like, yes, you need the delay, very important. Um, otherwise it would launch too quick and you wouldn't end up making your way up. So now, uh, Fizzy, if you're still up top, can, yep, there we go, perfect. So it launches up all of the other blocks around the, the sticky pistons, uh, but that's fine, like that doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> like that doesn't really affect anything, so that's all good. So then basically, we would need to do this on all sides. And, oh, actually, wait, did I do... Let me make sure this does line up right. Uh before I do it all. So, oh no, no, the pressure plates are one back. I just felt, I just felt like it was wrong. It just didn't feel right. So these need to be back here like this. And because these ones are a little bit further away, I'm gonna add like a little bit more of a delay because that's the rule. Further away, add a delay. That's the way to remember it. So this one I'll pull back there, then maybe pull this one. Oh, can I even place it in the right way around? There we go. I'll pull it back maybe one. And then let's do the, the same on this side. And then I'm gonna go up top and do a demonstration because this is like one of my my favorite additions in this new version of the, the game is the bounce pad. The thing with the last one is there was a lot of ladders and ladders are fine. They're useful, but they are like quite slow and um like i do have some ladders in this one when like i want it to be more difficult for you to to reach the the top and is that the right distance no it's not this needs to be one further back i probably should have dug out a little bit more of a of a redstone den down here uh, the reason i've got this long tunnel going the whole way underneath by the way is for the uh the starting mechanism so basically you're going to pull a lever to start this off and oh no this is still not not in the right place. It needs to be here. There we go. Right, so then let's add redstone here, here, and here. And then because I'm further away, we add a delay. We pull this back like that. Right, let me go up top. Sorry, Polly, I'm abandoning you in the redstone dungeon for a moment. And uh, let me show you how this works. Oh, well, fizzy will. Oh, it, it might work extra good with the elite trap. But yeah, you can just see you just run forward and then you go up. So I don't press jump or anything because it works perfectly because the slime stops your momentum. So you're always in the right place. And then if I do it from the, the side, let me wait for that one to go like this, then I can just, oh, I think that was just lag there. That normally works fine, but I go like that. And there we go, it bounces uh, It bounces me up like that. Isn't that cool? Doesn't that work? So there's gonna be one of these on either side to get to the middle. And then these sections here, there's gonna be them along there as well. So basically just under the ground here. And these are just gonna be one block away. So I might as well go and throw the first one of these down here like this. So there's gonna be four of these uh, around the place. And these are gonna be by far the quickest way to get up high when you're down below. Uh, so I think these are gonna be used a lot and they're just really fun. Oh, sorry, Fizzy. There's no redstone on this one. Well, tell you what, Polly, do you wanna build the, the rest of these? And I got a lot of other stuff to do, and then I'll go and do the uh, I'll go do some of the the other things. So uh, let me let me do the uh, the loot drops because that's one of the uh, the fun things that I want to to show you. One of the other interesting things. So oh, why was there a what were you? Were these salmon doing a conga line? Look, they're all pretending to be normal then. They were all in a perfect line. I think I've found out that secretly, when you're not looking, all of the fish in the world do a conga line. You're too late, Fizzy, you missed it. You're gonna have to watch the episode back. They're all doing a conga line when I went around the corner. It was really weird. Anyway, let me, uh, excuse me, guys. Sorry, I uh, you're fine to make a home in here. Uh, it might be a little bit dangerous when the arrows start flying, but you should be okay. Uh, but yeah. 
I filled this in with water. So the idea is, is you'd get to here, and then this is where you would be able uh, to upgrade your gear uh, to get some better loot. So uh, I will just do it into the side of this flower pot. Oh, wait a minute. Let me add a torch in this flower pot because this is going to be a googly hotspot if this is uh, left as it was there. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, just do it so it's in this uh, this wall here. So basically, we need to add an observer, which is going to be facing this way, and it's going to be observing a plant pot, which I panicked I didn't have, but I do have, uh, which is going to be there. And basically, that will know if anything is placed in that flower pot. And so that will send a redstone signal off. Actually, I think if I just do this, directly above a dropper. I think because it's above it, it should just set it off, but I can test that. So I need a dropper to be... God, it's getting so dark. It needs to be there? Oh no, I've got to get it facing the right way. So how do droppers go? So if I place it, yeah, it faces towards me. That's what I thought. So if I dig up here a little bit, then... Oh no, that's too high. Let me go get my axe back out and go down by one. Yeah, so if I place it here like this, and for now, let me just throw anything in it. Let me just throw a bunch of orange tulips in. And then I can go back up. I believe that this will fire it through the floor and you'll be able to, to grab it. Well, I guess I'll test it by just placing down the flower pot. Oh. Did anything happen? Let me, uh, let me add a block of redstone behind it there like that and now let me do it oh oh i think it did fire but i think it dropped under the ground right is that what happened so you need to make sure that oh no maybe not maybe it didn't fire well let's see this so there's five in there let me go back up here like this and let me tell let me actually do it as it's meant to be and let me place down a tulip like that oh it definitely looked like it fired then I, 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 maybe I've just... Oh, oh, we're just fired down here. Okay, so I think the problem is... Is that this area is too, like, open down here. So maybe if I, like, fill it all up like this... It will actually come out of the ground. There we go! Now it's working. So, the only thing we need to do is take the tulips out because getting a flower isn't much of an upgrade and put some armor inside of it. So I've decided to go for iron chest plates as the, uh, the upgrade that you'll get. Uh, I was going to do iron boots because I kind of like that it was like stampy style boots because this is kind of like a stampy themed game with it all being like orange and white and stuff. But it only gave like an upgrade of one armor and I just feel like no one would ever bother like going out their way to grab it. Uh, but the chest plate, I think, gives like three uh, armor protection. Uh, so it seemed a, a little bit more worth it. So there we go. So now, oh, it's going to fire out when I place this, isn't it? But there we go. There's a good demonstration of how it will work. The only annoying thing is resetting it is a little bit of a pain. Oh, yeah, because I think if I, yeah, so what I'm going to have to do is do this and that. And then I'll break this away. But there's only going to be one chest plate in each dropper. So it's like a, it's going to be like a, a first come, first serve for getting it. So right, I'm not going to do another demonstration, but you see how that works. So yeah, that's going to be down there. And then there's going to be another one, which is going to be down on this side here as well, at the end of this uh, really long tunnel. Uh, I won't worry about showing that for now, just because I'll be doing the exact same thing again. But if I have time before the end of the episode, uh, I will show you how that's uh, that's working. Uh, what should I do next? Uh, let's do let's do something with Fizzy. Fizzy, let's do the uh, the fireworks part. So the fireworks are basically... Oh, it's so fun getting up here. It's just fun moving around this place. Oh, I can't wait to play this game. Um, yeah, basically, there's going to be a flower pot in the very middle of this game. And when you... Um set it off or when you place your flower in it uh, that will set off the victory of the game so i need an observer and it needs to be facing up so oh did i place a flower pot down there um so if i do it like that it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be looking down which means to get this looking up i need a platform up above me so if i kind of build like this and then if i go down a little bit then if I, I just need like a block to place it against by, by Fizzy, I'll be back in a bit, right? So then I can place the observer so it's facing up. And so while I'm down here, I might as well do the, the other redstone that's down here. Once again, very, very, very simple. Uh, basically, we're going to do a block uh, along either side here like this with redstone on. And then, oh, God, suddenly got very dark. Don't like it. Don't like it. Panicking. There we go. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, redstone along there. 
And then that means if I put dispensers on the top, that means when that observer sees anything, it will set off fireworks, which is just a very clear way for everyone in the, the game to both see and hear that there is a, a winner of the game and the game is over. So, uh, <laughs> no, not yet. We got, we got to save at least a few of them. And oh, did I do these the right way around? Oh, I did, I did, I did. Oh no, but I've got myself stuck now. Let's go and break my way out like that. Uh, so we need a dispenser here. Oh, but the dispenser uh, needs to be facing up. Oh, am I going to have to go back under again to do it? Oh, no, 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 it's good. Well, for some reason, dispensers work differently from these. And oh no, I've got myself stuck again. <laughs> I'm getting stuck constantly here. So this dispenser needs to be like that. And then, right, Fizzy, could you put in... Um, could you put some... Oh, oh, there he is. Could you put your... Uh, so, could you spare some of your fireworks for these dispensers? So just put the, the orange ones in some and the white in the others in these dispensers here. And then whenever a flower is put in the middle, it should launch some of them. So I can do a test it by just putting the flower pot here. And that should have set it off. <laughs> but it didn't seem to. So hopefully this is a... This is going to, to work. Right, let me uh, let me place the, the flower in and let me see if this is going to work. Hmm. I, I know what it is. I know what it is, Fizzy. I should move. Oh, sorry, I'm going to make your fireworks all over the place. The, these should be... These should be here, right? Because they're going to that block. So these these just need to be a little further to the, the side. Uh, yeah, could you put that dispenser... Oh, yeah, Fizzy's doing it. Yeah, if you put that dispenser, I think you grabbed it, uh, here facing up. Then I think it should work. So look, let me throw some of these fireworks back in here. And then we can test if that works. But I think it should do now. Actually, let's fill in the rest of this dirt here. And then there we go! It's working! So that is how you'll know whether someone's won the, the game or not. Right, let me go and make my way back up to the, the top. And then, yeah, we got the flower pot there. So wait, don't, don't do it for a second, Fizzy. Let's wait for that to go. But then say if I put the flower in... It launches off with the fireworks! Oh, and I like the orange and white as well! Oh, see this game? It's just suddenly all coming together and starting to feel like a, a proper game. We're not done yet, though. We're not done yet. We're <laughs> somehow not done yet. So, uh, another thing that I need to do... And oh, do I have more terracotta? Has anyone got any spare terracotta on them? There might be some down here. Uh, oh, I don't, don't... No worries, guys, I got it. So let me also empty out some of this stuff that I don't need because uh, actually I will need that and I will need that. Oh, I need most of it. That's the problem. Uh, yeah, let's empty out my pockets a little bit here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a ceiling up above here. And uh, this is just so we can hide some redstone inside of it. So what we're going to do now is the mechanic so that if you um, place your flower on the top of your own pot, it will fly around, uh, fire out the other flower out of the, the top of the uh, the game up there. So basically we need to do, once again, use our new favorite block, the observer block. And oh, I didn't mean to go down there. Uh, so once again, it needs to be facing directly up. So if I place that block there, I could go down here and then I should be able to get it facing. Oh, actually, I might have to go, I might have to go like down right through the floor here to do this. If I break that away and then I guess I need to break that away, then I think I place it here. I think that looks right. Oh, I can I can, does this bounce pad work? Can I use this to get up? Oh, I can. It's good. It makes it all good. It makes it so much more fun. Uh, is this so this observer should be underneath here facing up. There we go. That's perfect. Um, annoyingly, I don't think you can change the way they're facing. So I would prefer for them to all be facing like, I don't know, like towards the game or something. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So right, let's break away a bit of this uh, inverted comma dirt <laughs> or brown concrete. We can fill in this here and then this is gonna be very simple. Uh, basically we're gonna have some redstone uh, trailing from down here. Uh, I do need to add a repeater and that's just because the uh, from the observer the, the redstone doesn't often travel very far and this is gonna loop around to there and then it's just gonna be a trail of redstone torches going up this entire flower here. So I'm gonna have to break away like one kind of entire half of this flower, but we can go and fill that in again afterwards. Uh, oh, I, just, I don't know why I just keep falling in pits today. Maybe it's because I'm just digging pits everywhere. So right, let's break this away so I can see what I'm doing. So yeah, this is going to go to here and then we're going to do the trail going up. I guess I'll just do it out of birch. So the first one will be here like that. So let's go make myself a bunch of redstone torches. So let me make 
uh, some sticks. We'll make a bunch of these. Then let's go make some redstone torches. And then, yeah, these are just going to gradually make their entire way up to the very top there. So it's going to be a redstone torch there, then a redstone torch there. And I guess if I just build up next to it, I can do this up to the, the top. And then, yeah, very simply, these are just going to link up to a dropper which is going to be at the, the very top of this game. Uh, and then basically, if someone uh, does what I said, goes and places the, the flower down, that is going to set off the, the dropper and shoot it roughly down into the middle of that area. So I am kind of destroying the, the flower a little bit as I do this, but it'll all be worth it. And that will be very easy to, to fill back in otherwise. Uh, you can see why in the episode where we were building the flowers, I was very conscious to get it exactly right. Uh, just because then, like, it makes it so the the redstone torch at the end reaches the the right place. So that was that was why that was important. And it is it is sad to destroy the flower we made, but it's one half. And then I've got the other half, so I can kind of just copy exactly how they are. So this one's going to go up to here, and we're very near the uh, the top now. Let me just get some more blocks. It doesn't matter what these middle blocks we made out of, because you won't see them. And I think this should be the last redstone. Yeah, this will be the last redstone torch there, because I will then. Add a single block of orange concrete there, uh, just to kind of match the style of the flower. And then the dropper will go on the top here, facing inward. So let me be careful I'm not going to fall down. Oh, that's facing the wrong way. That's facing the wrong way. It needs to be facing this way. Nope, that's facing the wrong way. How is it? How how did I do both ways and it was still facing the wrong way? There we go. <laughs> now it's facing the right way. So this one needs to be full of orange tulips. So this should mean... I think it should be working now. Do you reckon I can land on that flower there? <gasps> oh, just about. Just about. Right, let's break away some of the uh, the ugly wood that I had to place in just to get up there. Uh, let's, we won't worry about rebuilding the, the flower for now, uh, just because it would be very quick to, to do, and it's probably not worth doing. But let's just make sure that this is actually working the way it was intended. Actually, Polly, do you want to give it a go? If you just place any block on that observer, that should send a flower flying out the top up here. Yes! There it goes! And as you can see, so it doesn't land right on the flower pot. It kind of just makes its its way down there. Oh, Tell let's, let's let's fill this in. Let's fill this in so it gets proper. Now, now I know that it's working. Um, as you tell, uh, while, while I play around with this, uh, one of my helpers, could you do that? Could you just like fill in like in like green concrete up to the, the top up there? And I'll fill in this area here because we're, we're so close to, to getting all of this done. It would be a shame just to, to leave it now. Yeah, if you just do one big trail going up to the, the top there, uh, that will at least get the uh, the stem done. And then I will need to place down a flower pot down here. So hopefully you can really fully see how the game's going to be. Oh, that's going to fire one down, I think. Did that fire one down? Oh, yeah, it's fired down there. Oh, yeah, look, you can see it's a bit random. See, one of them landed up on the flower and the other one landed down. Because I like that. Because remember, once that gets fired out, either team could pick it up. Like, you haven't won yet. You need to pick up that flower and get it to the middle in order to, to win. So I'm hoping it will be like a mad, like, tense scramble in order to, to get it in. That's kind of what my, my goal is. So the only other things that I would have needed to, to do was to do what we've just done on that side, but do it on this side. Uh, so the, the white team has a chance to, to win. And then I also was hoping to do today, but we have run out of time, uh, was to do a little mechanism for opening the doors. But it's very simple. It's basically the same as it was in the, the last game. I'm just going to add like a little lever down here. And then basically when you pull it, it will do a sticky piston that will open and close both doors at the exact same time. Uh, and then that way everyone will be able to start the game. But those jump pads... I don't know, they're just so satisfying. And the fact that you can kind of do them like side on like that, and it's just like so quick. Like, oh, it's gonna be so fun, like jumping around and like shooting other people out of the, the air as you do it. <laughs> it's just gonna make the, the whole thing so satisfying. I can't wait to play this game and hopefully you can't wait to watch it. And speaking of waiting, you won't have to wait long because we will be playing this brand new game, Flower Power 2, in the next episode and having a big mighty tournament on it to see who will be the Flower Power 2 champion. So hopefully you will come back and join us for that. And lovely job, Fizzy. That tulip looks perfect. Anyway though, that is the end of this episode here. Thank you so much to my helpers for helping so much. Thank you to you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!